island. Oh, the the confidence of Nicole. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nicole knows what's up. Yeah, she's like, I'm on a, we're on an island together. Trust me, I'm your type. Yeah. <laughs> we're on an island. All right. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was way. never. That was kind of like never explained why he didn't like her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like he makes it a point. And he's like, "No, I just don't like you." And like to say it out loud. And it's like I thought they were gonna like reveal there was something else happening. I kept thinking there was more reveals than there were in a way. <laughs> twist upon twist upon twist. I guess I don't know. <laughs> her whole personality though was, and you're sleeping with someone on the team, and also you smoke. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's 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 what you get. You don't treat the lady from the Mummy and the Mummy Returns like this. No, no, she's great and she's a good screen presence too. And I, yes. I also thought like that was gonna be more because you know, rightfully so, she's more upset and more affected by Slater's death. So it's kind of like I thought maybe they they'd reveal that or talk about that a little bit more. But that I think that's like the core of the only beef I have with this movie is like we really don't get to know anyone and i don't need like mountains of backstory but it w- i think a little bit more could have made it a little bit uh like more cohesive overall yeah i agree uh, and well she, she's the next death uh which we've already discussed the acid cigarette mm. she, she uh hard <laughs> so hard lucas has predicted uh like that she will storm off and needs to get some air uh, well i suppose because she's still affected by jd's death etc so He's to go out and get, has a cigarette, dies hard from the inside. Um, are we the... all gonna? Are we all thinking the same thing right now? What are we all thinking? What? What if she uh, had just got it sooner? Like, she she could have got that cigarette at any point. Well, the, the the cartons didn't fall out until just before she had one. So like, J- JLM has yeah. a bunch of remotes and triggers and stuff on him when when he's found out to be the killer. So I reckon oh, that's true. when, that's when true. she left the room, he then like. Press the cigarette release button. Right. On his little but like, theoretically, she could have got in there. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As soon as they get the gun, she could just shoot at one of the machines and have a cigarette. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kick the glass open. Yeah, shoot the glass. And wait, that's speed. No, that's shoot that's, the hostage. That's, that's die hard issue. Shoot the glass. <laughs> oh yeah. So he says it in German, and then the German guy doesn't understand him, so he shouts it in English instead. It makes perfect sense. Uh, don't even think about it. Die Hard, perfect film. Uh, so yeah, so she has a cigarette. As soon as she takes a, 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 a quarter of a drag, her fingers start to melt. Her lips melt. She's bleeding from the mouth. She drops a bit of cigarette on her on her sh- shoe, and it melts through her foot. And then she goes, "Oh, I'm going to die," and dies. And it's mind it's blowing, horrific, mind it's... <laughs> blowing misdirect. Because <laughs> you're like, "Oh, damn, she narrowly escaped." Sucking in all that acid, and then nope. all of a sudden, nope, <laughs> it's still there somehow, seeping into her her bean. One of the worst deaths I've seen in any film. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's a rapidly, oh. it's like something causes a chemical reaction to expand because you can't get that much acid. No, that's some. Imp- who, it's, that's, insi- that's... it's insidious, is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that. How how is he getting a hold of it? Like this isn't like a, a government That's, lab. Like, exactly. This is like, like a, the plot of Indiana Jones movie. Yes, like how Jay said he wants to see the setup that we need the whole other movie that explains yeah. like his chemical processing, like how he's doing the blood drain so quickly, like so many things that we need to know. We need mind, mind planners. We need. To see. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Who made this acid? Like, <laughs> um, like it, why didn't you just put it in everyone's coffee? It's yeah, it's some like Captain <laughs> Where's America. Where's the challenge? Or something. Like yeah. it seems very like this can't exist. There's no way. Did it need a reaction with liquids since it's in the cigarette safely? Or, oh or, god, or great fire? question. Maybe it needs to be lit. Like uh once it once heat comes into contact with it. Right. Oh. But the, like there must be a lot of it cuz it's in every pack of cigarettes and presumably every cigarette in that pack needs to have the acid in it. Also a good question, or also a good, like, observation. <laughs> so, did he know so, her so brand? Many. Wait, did he know her brand? I don't think that. could have saved time. I, I feel like it didn't matter because there was nothing else available. I, yeah, I've never it, smoked, so I don't know. But. And I do feel like when they when he flips the switch, they show at least, like, I don't know, at least five <laughs> machines around the island. So, like, that's at least five packs of cigarettes. 
Yeah. Did I make this up in my head? When she was walking out, I could have swore she saw a single pack of cigarettes laying there. She did, yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, because that, that had just fallen out of the the one that she... I, I suppose when JLM was setting up the traps, he didn't know exactly... He's not good that good enough of a profile to know exactly where she would be on the on this so mysterious he island. Placed them, he just placed them around? <laughs> yeah, every, every like cigarette bread machine. Yeah. yeah. How much, would it be better if she was like, ooh, a cigarette? And then, ooh, another cigarette. And then he just leads her into, like, a pit. Leads her into a ooh, bed. Ooh, piece trap. of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> yeah, just, like, into a, a pit into of an vipers oven. and pit bulls and razor blades. This is her, her weakness. Uh, razor blades and vipers and pit bulls. Uh, it's almost more believable that, like, the lighter would have done something. Yeah. Oh, the lighter explodes. I guess yeah. that would be too similar to, to Vince's death with the gun. Cur- yeah, Back which I think, far. is that the next death? Uh, that is so. Yes, yeah, so Vince. Uh, they once Nicole dies, they're like, oh, it's, it's one of us still." Oh, then they hear, then they hear the recording playing of Val Kilmer, mm-hmm. and so they go. So Vince says like, he's not going to come anymore. So El Cool J handcuffs Vince's chair so he can't get around anymore, which just seems mean. Yeah. I, I, I didn't fully <laughs> grasp the logic behind what was going on there, but fine. So Vince stays behind. El Cool J, Sarah, and Lucas go and find Val Kilmer's strung up puppet corpse and two other dead FBI people. We've covered that. It's I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool scene because you, you hear like, oh, Val Kilmer's talking to them. He's like mocking them all, but then it's not to be a video of him talking mm-hmm. to Lucas. That just is perfectly timed when they get when they get to him. But yeah, anyway, wonderful, wonderful logic to the film that, that ties up nicely. Meanwhile, Vince is trying to... Oh, yeah, yeah so Ella Corte took Vince's he left Vince with his gun, but took his bullets. So then Vince goes into the freezer to find either Bobby or Rafe's body. Rafe, because think... he doesn't have a head, right? Okay, because he has bullets in his gun, so he takes those. But then the freezer door shuts, but that doesn't mean anything, because he gets out a few minutes later. It just kind of delays him a little bit. Uh, crawls to the elevator, hears somebody coming, shoots, and his gun backfires and explodes his head. It's uh, probably the best interpretation of, like... Your downfall. Yes. Or he like your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they do a great job of making him say that a hundred times. So like, <laughs> but that also makes sense. Like he knew he would use that at some point and it would backfire. Literally. Literally, yeah. <laughs> it blew up in his face. Now, stupid question. They're all profilers. So then the first one who dies is Slater and he took the lead. Do you think they would have been like, do you think the person wanted him to take the lead and would have him there. And then the coffee guy is dead who makes the coffee. Do you think Nicole could be like, hey, there's cigarettes. And they've already done the coffee bit and the leader bit. Like, I might be in trouble here. Or is it just too late and they're tired and they're afraid? Well, he's... And they're not really profiling. He's setting up, like, everything's preordained with a watch and a time as to when everything's going to happen as well. So it, it feels like everything is going to plan. But wait, I think I think you're asking, you're asking, like, shouldn't, like, should she be, like, aware of what's happening here, put it together, and, and not go towards the vice? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I see. Yeah. Sorry. So the only thing with her is I believe she's not around for that conversation and they actually come together while she's away they go oh this is what's happening and that's why they all go michelle or what's her name nicole oh yeah yeah, remember they all like nicole because she's like not in the room and then you cut to her looking for cigarettes i haven't seen this movie in a while and that's fair she was she was standing (laughs) by the nitrous like those liquid oxygen i thought those things were going to blow up when she was smoking yeah. Because she just goes to a really horrible spot to smoke. And I was like, is she going to blow up as well as getting acid? Well, that would like, make that... sense because they make a big deal of saying, of pointing out the canisters as they arrive at the island. I think, okay, that's Chekhov's gas canisters. They're going to come back at some point. Well, I think they come on, They come with Christian Slater. But that, yeah. Like, yeah, but that's that's quite early on. I was expecting them to, like, there's a lot of them. I thought it would be some kind of big explosive finale. It's a Rennie Harlan film. They tend to end and... with an explosion. Can I can I also ask now that we're on that subject? I just remembered. Also, did they say that those canisters were used to create Arctic like temperatures on the island for the the seals? 
to train in? Did I get that right? Was that in the water? Was that in the water? Or something? I don't know. Like at one point they're like hanging out and there's like snow appearing around and I was like, I guess this is debris. I don't know what's happening. I was very confused on that part. Yeah, that was snow. Rennie Harlan said he bought uh, candles that burnt and then they would have big fans blowing it and it was supposed to be snow. But like islands in in off the coast of South Carolina do not get snow. Am I correct? Guys, you need to fact check me here. Was it off of Virginia? <laughs> That they or, went to? yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, like wherever Roanoke is. So, yeah. Yeah. I could see that snowing. No! And in I Virginia? Live, I live in Maryland. I don't think you're going to get a, get that much snow on an island, you think? I mean, it's right off the coast. Hold on. I got I to gotta get me a glimpse of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea, so I'm just going to let you two fight it out. Oh, okay. It's, no, it's in. Oh, it so, is off the coast of North Carolina. It is North Carolina. Yeah. You are right. Even more suspect. I mean, I guess you could get like a storm there. I just, I don't know. I guess snow, but it just seemed like casual snow. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't like, there wasn't a bad weather moving through. I, I guess I get snow in Georgia, so I guess North Carolina would get some snow as well. I'm saying, I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm saying, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm all I'm with you. Like it's it's a rarity okay. that that would happen. It just it just struck me. I was like, wait, where? I thought they were on an island, and I was like looking around. But all right, yeah. What was the bit about? Why did they mention Roanoke? Th- this is another like f- f- almost like a red herring that didn't really go anywhere. Yes, which uh, I was like, cool bit of trivia because I like that story. But also, why is it here? Yeah. You know, I watched this movie and I listened to the commentary and I watched all the behind the scenes videos and I'm still quite fuzzy about many things in this movie, but I've watched it twice for this. Yeah. Are you all like that as well or no? Well, it's just there's a lot like I think maybe it's it actually might be like weirdly clever because like especially when you watch a lot of murder mysteries or these types of whodunits. You know, you kind of know what to look for and what not to look for, what's going to pan out, what's not going to pan out. Mm -hmm. And they give you so many little things like this that you think they're going to be of some level of significance. Like, they almost throw too many. I don't even want to call them red herrings, but there's, like, a weird amount of information that's not directed at the characters. Yeah. So they don't really help you, like, suss out what's going to happen. It's more, well, how does that play into the story? And a lot Mm -hmm. of times it just doesn't. Yeah, good point. So I found the script, and they do say that the navy the navy uses it to simulate Arctic regions. That's yeah, what, that's what the nitrogens are for. In general, that's what I thought. it's a military. Don't touch it. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, so that's what's creating the snow. I think that's. I mean, that that was my guess, but I was just oh. trying to. I was trying to get some feedback on that because I was like not really sure. I thought it was just the water. Like they go into the water to recreate dives in very cold water and controlled environments. Well, that's what I thought when they mentioned it in the beginning. But then when yeah. I seen snow, I was like, "What's this now?" <laughs> and they, they do say early on that they they have the ability to do blood samples on the computer, analyze fibers and scout samples, but they can't do any uh, research beyond the firewall. So they do, they do establish that they can do blood samples. So, that's so they could the do blood samples. I thought that meant like fake blood samples but no okay all right that's fair enough Pretty right. Right. For, this, for, this, for this for this fake he's got it <laughs> for this fake profiling they have the ability to do real blood samples that makes perfect <laughs> because they do <laughs> you know what I, I gotta say i do love the production design and Rennie harlan found the production designer he was a guy that just painted uh, i would go into like older buildings old churches and redo their frescoes and various art inside of like large buildings so he was a painter but i looked at what he's been doing lately as a production designer and let's see when does it start so 2013 thor the dark world 2014 guardians of the galaxy then age of ultron then doctor strange infinity war endgame black widow and doctor strange in the multiverse of madness and i remember listening to the commentary and so rennie harlan harlan gave him like his first huge job on driven and then he did he hired him on Mine Hunters, and now he's Marvel's go-to production designer because Rennie Harlan brought him in. Hey, good for him. Um, I have a question. Yeah. How many production designers are on those movies? Um, is it so, like one, or is it like a four hundred? So uh, uh, 
uh, sorry if I'm being like, I, I don't want to like explain a bunch of things to you, but like, uh, no, I, don't wanna, I don't want to explain things to you, you know, but like, honestly,